Hey everybody, Scott Graves here from the On Track Music Guitar School in Salt Lake City and I want to show you a really, really, really cool amplifier. This is the Roland GA212 amplifier. 212 meaning it has two 12-inch um, speakers. It is 200 watts worth of power and like everything uh, by Roland and Boss, this thing is built like a tank. It is built to take uh, the uh, toughness of crating around, hauling around to gigs and stuff like that. Man, this thing is really, if you look at this, you got this uh, metal grill here. Um, the thing is just uh, really, really solid. I feel like I can wheel it around anywhere I want and nothing is going to happen to the, the, the tank that it is. It's awesome. Um, the other thing I like about this 212 is uh, it is heavy. It's heavy built and because of that they have these casters on it uh, come with it. This is um, the 212 is a 200 watt version. They also make a 112 version that is 100 watts. Okay, has all the same um, effects and everything, or or the the same uh, configuration for the uh, controls and all of that. Um, exact same thing, but a 100 watt version and 112 inch speaker. The only difference is the 112 also does not have the wheels on it, where the 212 does. This is the optional foot pedal that I highly recommend getting with it. Um, this is uh, the the controller foot controller and makes it really really cool. Um, to uh, control the different channels at, at, in the amp. Now this is a digital amplifier, but it's not your uh, uh, basic digital amplifier. If you are a, a uh, kind of a tone guru and you're used to just how standard amps work, this is the amp for you. This is really, really cool. It's not one of those digital amps that's packed with all these effects and stuff like this. This works like a standard, basic, uh, classic amplifier, but it's got some advantage uh, advantages of the uh, digital age and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. First of all, I'm going to go ahead and turn this guy on. Okay, So you can see as soon as I turned it on all these uh, LEDs light up on your um, on your different uh, knobs right here. Now when you look down here at the bottom this pedal says that right now I'm in manual mode. So I'm in my manual mode and what I'm seeing right here um, is what I get if I turn, this is my reverb, if I turn this down, I've just kind of put everything straight up so that's like your 5 position. I turn it down and you can see that LED uh, follows and uh, for where the normal number configuration would be on any amp, okay? So my, my presence does the same thing, my treble, okay, those LEDs are tracking how I want them, okay? Now right now, I'm going to just play the tone, playing a 76, 1976 Les Paul standard and here's tone that I'm getting with everything straight up. Okay, now if I want to clean this up a little bit here, I'm going to take this drive down a little bit and notice that this goes more to a, a greener type of a hue. I just going to clean up my signal, I'll give it a little bit more volume by boosting the volume up here. Okay, and that's just a nice clean tone. I'll bring my volume up here. Okay, I'll say, I'll add a little bit more reverb here. Let's look at my reverb right there. I'm going to take that reverb and boost it up a little bit here. Let's take it way up there so you can really hear it. Okay, so let's say I've set my tone up that way and, and that's what I like. Every, I'm not doing anything fancy here, everything's straight up. Let's say I want that tone and I want to uh, want the amp to memorize where that tone is. Let's look down here at these channel buttons. See, I've got channel one, two, three, and four right here. And then on my amp, I also see this manual channel, and then channel one, two, three, and four here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit, I'm going to hold down the manual channel, and then I'm going to hold down. After I hold that down, I'm going to press down channel four. So there's manual channel, press down channel four, and now you saw that thing kind of flash right there. That means that that setting is now memorized down here in channel 4. Okay, so there's my channel 4. Whoops. If I go to channel 3, I had something else in there. Uh, let's go to see if there's, here's channel 2, something different in there. Okay, that was something that I previously had in there, but now when I go back to channel 4, there's my setting. Now let's get a shot of these, these, uh, uh, LEDs. Look at where those LEDs, that's where I just programmed that thing to go to channel 4. Okay. Now, I'm going to go to channel 2. I'm going to hit the channel 2 switch and see how they jumped? They jumped around to where I had had something else previously programmed in there. Okay. And so, that's what's really cool about this amp. You can program it and memorize your settings. Okay. Now, if I want to change on this, 
amp if I want to tweak something on that uh, channel. Say I want, to, I want to boost my mids. I'm going to hit the mid boost right here. Look at this button. There's a mid boost. Okay, I'm going to boost those mids. I don't want so much reverb in there. I'm going to take the reverb down. Okay. Now notice where the reverb went there. Say I want to take my presence up. Okay. Go like that. to do if I want to keep everything else in that channel I hit this button again right here and that just memorized the new configuration so if I go back to that other channel setting I had on channel 2 okay and now you can see where it was there and I come back to channel 4 here see it goes back to where those I had hit those other settings and it's really cool and simple to use because of that it's awesome 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 now I'm going to go back, let's go back to the manual mode here. This is a manual mode. What I'm seeing is what I get. I'm going to take, um, I'll go ahead and leave my presence tweaked up on that. Say I want to add some more distortion in here. Um, I can, I've got all sorts of drive. I can take this drive and bring it up and then maybe this will bring me into a little bit more of a classic distortion land. See that yellow? I'm starting to drive it. That kind of lets you visually see how where your distortion's at. I'm starting to get more distortion by having that drive in there. I like this because this is more of that classic overdrive. Now, if I want to boost it up even more, I can hit this boost right here, and you can see now we're purple. sound now I can take that I'll put that into channel 3 hit manual here channel 3 now I'm gonna have that memorized in my channel 3 Go back to channel 4 there's my king. Okay. it's really cool because I got four different channels that I can I can memorize that right here are set and plus actually kind of a fifth because you still got your manual channel okay and you can do all these different configurations on it. Now let's look at something else here. Um, I'm going to go to uh, channel, well, I'll stay in channel 4. Okay, now I'm going to hit this function switch right here. When I hit that function, function switch, um, now my these uh, things on the top here that are connected by this line, these buttons control those things. So in other words, I've got a boost down here. That boost, if I hit this, that will turn this boost on right here. So if I hit that with my foot, I'm still in channel 4, but I hit that with my foot. And so now I've got a little bit more drive on that channel. So I can go from that clean to more drive, okay? Um, I've got a mid boost here. You can see the mid boost is on right here. I can turn it off by hitting this one right here. So the mid boost is off, mid boost is on. You see I've got reverb here. The reverb's on right now. I can turn the reverb off right there. So it's like I've got these four channels and even a fifth channel with the manual, but then by using this I can take each one of those channels and I can add more distortion or more drive on it. It's really cool. Um, you also have um, inputs on the back where you can put in some uh, volume pedals on here and one thing that they did which is really cool is you can use expression pedals to uh, change the volume like you normally would you know volume up volume down but also you can use them to change on the fly the amount of gain that you put in here so you can actually if you use that expression pedal you can watch this thing turn up and put it in more drive into it it's really really cool you can control effects loops um, via turn that your effects loops on and off via the foot controller right here and there are two different effects loops uh, send and returns on the back for the um, the uh, amplifier. There's also a tuner in and a tuner through on this. Um, it's just really, really cool. So, an awesome amplifier and a great uh, a great one for those of you who are looking for um, you know that 
that digital versatility, but still being able to get those those classic tones, and not all the the you know the, the effects and stuff that you you get in the other digital amplifiers, but just a good solid digital tone. Now you can still take something like the Boss ME70 like this, hook that up through here, you know, run it run it into that, and then you're going to have all your your choruses and your flanging and all that stuff, you know. Um, so that's a great way to go. Um, anyway, it's a killer amp, great for uh, live playing, and um, like I said, built like a, a rock. Um, Roland and Boss just just make good, solid, top of the line sound gear, and it's an awesome, awesome deal. So, check it out, the Roland GA212. Have a good one, everybody.